I made a promise to myself at the summer solstice to try and be more present. Isn't it such a funny concept that we tend to try hard to do the simple things like be here and now? And most of the time, doing feels a lot easier than being. And so I'm inviting myself to sit more and to find more stillness and to drink in more deep belly breaths because it seems like my body is dehydrated from all of the shallow breathing. And putting this all into practice seems to be the easiest in the early morning hours, in the stillness before it has all begun. And so this is what I have been doing. I have been sitting with myself, taking time to journal, sit with the river, sit with the elements, sit with my thoughts, and find the stillness beneath it all because I know it is always there. When I find my breath and I use it as my guide, there is this deep wisdom that I find within me that I know is within all of us that is far, far, far beyond where our thinking minds can take us a knowing that transcends all thought. So come with me on a day that wasn't necessarily particularly busy, but it was filled with moments of go, go, go. And I was able to find that undercurrent of ease by using my breath as my guide and knowing that there is always a deep presence that I can tap into just by being exactly as I am. I began my day as I always do with the sun on my face and my feet in the earth. And I went outside to do some yoga and just meditate for a while before I headed in to make some nourishing breakfast. On this day, I had three pasteurized eggs from my chickens. They have been producing so many. I cooked those in a cast iron skillet and I had those alongside some sauerkraut for gut health and a lot of other fruits and veggies from my garden and the farmer's market with some Greek yogurt and honey. And then I made myself a matcha latte, which has been the highlight of my mornings. I love my good herbal yummy drinks and so I made this matcha latte using a magic mind shot and I used some milk almond milk along with some vanilla and some raw local honey. I mixed that all up and I put it in a mason jar with ice and a straw and took it outside to enjoy in the sunshine. I love matcha because it is just full of so many amazing things like L-theanine which I find super helpful for my anxiety and so if you are somebody that loves caffeine and loves a good drink but doesn't do really well with coffee, I definitely recommend trying matcha out if you haven't. It tastes delicious and it doesn't give you the jitters like coffee does so I definitely really recommend matcha if you haven't tried it yet and you are an anxious girly like me. Okay so I am outside with my magic mind matcha and I wanted to talk a little bit about why I've been including this into my morning routine every day and that is because it is full of so many different herbs. I love including different fun herbs into my life to just notice how they affect my body and I've noticed recently that I've been needing a little bit of more mental support, a little bit of extra love for my brain because I started up a new school program and it's just been taking a lot out of me and I really love matcha specifically because it helps give you a slow flow of energy with a lot of support for your nervous system because there's an amino acid within matcha known as L-theanine which helps to balance your nervous system and calm anxiety while also giving you energy from the caffeine which I love and then these magic mind shots also contain a ton of other different herbs that support our brain health like lion's mane and lion's mane is a medicinal mushroom it's an adaptogen that helps increase neurogenesis in the brain and what that is is it helps to build new neural networks and so that really helps you learn new things it really helps you build a new foundation and just new paths to travel down in your brain it also contains turmeric which is really great for fighting inflammation and it's really great for also just boosting our brain health as well it also contains saffron which is one of my favorite herbs to include into my diet and into my life it's a culinary herb it is known as liquid gold because number one it is super potent medicine and number two it is a beautiful golden color and these shots contain saffron which i absolutely love the shots also contain B vitamins, which is huge for mental health as well. So I've been including them into my life every single day this week. I've been trying to have one once a day 
for seven days just to see how it's been affecting my mood and this is day number seven and I've absolutely loved it I feel like I get the energy that I need without that jitteriness that coffee brings and it also has been just really soothing to my mental health these mental performance shots from magic mind have become an essential part of my daily routine they are not a quick fix but something that you can build upon which is why I love this seven day challenge that I have been doing with them I love that I can reach for them any time of the day especially in the afternoons because the caffeine within them gives me an extra boost but does not disturb my sleep. The efficacy of these shots is also backed by over 200 research studies and is also validated by doctors. Magic Mind also offers a no-risk 100% refund policy for 100 days after purchasing. To experience the magic that I have these past seven days, click the link in my description and use my discount code EMMAR20 to save up to 48% off your first subscription for the next 10 days. I have really been loving going on walks in the mornings and in the afternoons just to explore what the world looks like at different times of the day and on this day I was able to forage some wild grapes which I took home to the chickens because they were a bit too sour for me and then I came back and I just noticed how full and heavy the apple branches were and apples are so delicious when they come straight off the tree and so I picked one for myself to enjoy on the rest of my walk which i did down by the river in my backyard i was able to find a bunch of wild mint and this specific mint is wild california mint and i spent some time foraging it and just learning about mint in my herb journal and then i also found some milk thistle within the blackberry bushes while i was foraging for some blackberries it is the end of the season for blackberries unfortunately but i did snag a few before i spent some time with milk thistle it's really cool to be able to learn from the plants what they have to offer because milk thistle is really spiky and it definitely helps to penetrate in the liver and get everything moving, which is really amazing due to its bitter qualities. Milk thistle is also really amazing for our pollinators, so if you have the chance to grow some in your garden or in your backyard, that would be really amazing for you and for the earth. And then after I looked at the herbs, I decided I wanted to spend some time in the hammock reading, so I walked over to the hammock that is hanging in my backyard and just chilled for a bit i read becoming supernatural by joe dispenza i have been rereading this and it definitely leaves me with a lot of downloads every time i return to the pages it's been reminding me to tap into the higher emotions the higher vibrational emotions like gratitude and happiness and joy and just teaching my body what it feels like to live in those higher vibrational states so that i can be ready to receive them when that comes around and just align myself for my highest timeline to take place. I also spent some time journaling, writing poetry, and creating some art. I really just spent some time doodling. I think it's really important for us to be able to have these practices that we hold with non-attachment and non-judgment and allow ourselves to embrace our inner child and just scribble and play and write whatever comes up and just do little brain dumps with our doodles and with the colors and yeah just hold ourselves without any judgments in these practices and so that's what I've been committed to recently just daily creating something without any judgment or any expectations for how it should look. So after I did a little bit of art and a little bit of connecting internally I decided I wanted to continue connecting with the plants in my backyard and so I continued to search for what else was around me and I found some more wild mint but I also found found a lot of mugwort which was really special because I have been looking for mugwort. I usually find it in a great abundance along the river by my house but I haven't found much this year and I tend to not want to pick it if there's only one or two pieces or plants around me and so I wait until I find a lot and I was able to find a good amount at this spot in my backyard and I decided to forage some so that I could dry it and make some teas and tinctures out of it. Mugwort is very bitter but it is really beneficial for the menstrual cycle. It is known as moonwort as well. I also foraged a lot of mint because I love wild California mint and just adding it to recipes as well as adding it to tinctures to help synergize them. 
I've found that the plants can communicate a lot of their healing potentials to us through how they grow, what they grow next to, the other plants that they are growing with and leaning on and just living in harmony with. And mint, for example, stands upright, it's tall, its leaves reach out in both directions to help balance the feminine and the masculine. It helps to align our bodies, align our energies, and just shoot energy up and down and just like disperse everything in the body. Mugwort is really beautiful in that it is more dainty. It has a very beautiful shape for its leaves and it grows up tall towards the sun. It grows alongside water, so it helps to govern the water in our bodies. And so you can just tune into plants and listen to them, listen to what they have to say, and invite their medicines and their energies to just help vibrationally align you to the earth and to the elements and if a plant isn't resonating with you then know that maybe that isn't a vibrational match for you and it can be a very beautiful spiritual practice for us to learn from and to tap into so i'm just going to be out here communing with the plants and i'm probably going to take a little river dip as well so the beginning of fall tends to be pretty warm here in northern california so after i spent a good amount of time foraging the plants i got pretty hot and sweaty and so i decided to take a dip in the river and just float around and swim and play and keep my awareness to my senses to ground my body before i went to pottery for the day and pottery is another practice that helps keep me centered of course you center the clay but they joke that centering the clay also centers your mind and i definitely find that to be true so i threw about four pieces and it has been so fun doing this art form and afterwards i went and got a few drinks with my boyfriend from a local organic coffee shop which is a new place that we've been loving and we went and watched my brother play soccer before a bunch of my family came over and my grandpa gifted us a bunch of different little crafts that he's been working on in his tool shed they are visiting from kentucky and so he shipped all of these out before they came out and we got to open them all together all of my siblings all of my parents and all of our boyfriends were all together with my grandparents which was really sweet afterwards my mom made a bunch of snacks that we put on one of the wooden charcuterie boards that he made us girls and we all enjoyed them while playing cornhole and having a great evening together. I ended this day feeling very full in my heart. I went outside and spent some alone time with the trees to just chill out after a very social day and then I relaxed in the hot tub with my boyfriend while we watched the sunset behind the mountains and I read Throne of Glass which has taken me a bit to get into but I have been enjoying it because I do love a good fictional world to dive into. So this is how I ended my evening. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another very loved filled day that I experienced. I love getting to share these little pockets of presence with you and take you along on my day to day. I will see you all in another video soon. Until then, take care, take some deep belly breaths. I love you. Sincerely, your friend Emma.